Though three men dwell on Flannan Isle to keep the lamp alight, as we passed under the lee we caught no glimmer through the night. A passing ship at dawn had brought the news, and quickly we set sail to see what strange thing might ail the keepers of the deep sea light. The winter's day broke blue and bright with glancing sun and glancing spray, as all the swell our boat made way, as gallant as a gull in flight. But as we neared the lonely isle, and looked up at the naked height, and saw the lighthouse towering white, with blinded lantern that all night had never shot a spark of comfort through the dark, all ghostly in the cold sunlight. It seemed that we were struck the while with wonder all too dread for words. And as into the tiny creek we stole beneath the hanging crag, we saw three queer black ugly birds. Too big by far, in my belief, for gully or, or shag. Like seamen sitting bolt upright upon a half-tide reef. And as we neared, they plunged from sight, without a sound or spurt of white. And still too mazed to speak, we landed and made fast the boat, and climbed the track in single file, each wishing that he was safe afloat on any sea, however far, so it be far from Flannan Isle. But yet we seemed to climb and climb as though we'd lost all count of time, and so must climb forevermore. Yet, all too soon, we reached the door, the black sun-blistered lighthouse door that stood for us agape. As on the threshold for a spell we paused, we seem to breathe the smell of lime wash and of tar, <laughs> familiar as our daily breath, as though it were some strange smell of death. And so, yet wandering side by side, we stood a moment, all tongue-tied, each filled with black foreboding, eyed the door, ere we should fling it wide and leave the sunshine for the gloom still finding courage at last hard on each other's heels we passed into the living room but as we crowded through the door we only saw a table set for dinner meat and cheese and bread but all untouched and no one there and at the table head a chair lay toppled on the floor we listened but we only heard the feeble cheeping of a bird that starved upon its perch. And listening still, without a word, we set about our hopeless search. We hunted high, we hunted low, we soon ransacked the empty house and all the island to and fro. We ranged to listen and to look in every crevice, cleft or nook that might have hid a bird or mouse. And though we searched from shore to shore, we found no sign in any place and soon again stood face to face before the gaping door. Aye, though we hunted high, we hunted low, we hunted everywhere, but of the three men's fate we found no trace of any kind in any place, save a door ajar, an untouched meal and an overtoppled chair. And as we stood there in the gloom of that forsaken living room, we thought how ill chance came to all who kept the flannan light, how six had met a sudden end and three had gone stark mad, and one, whom we'd all known as friend, had leapt from the lantern one still night and fallen dead by the lighthouse wall. And still we thought on three we sought, and what might yet befall, as curs a gla glance has brought to heel, we listened flinching there, and looked and looked on the untouched meal and the overtoppled chair. We seemed to stand for endless while, and still no word was said. Three men alive on Flannan Isle, who thought on three men dead.